The Microtech Reliant Multi-Stage Balloon Catheter comes packaged sterile, one per box. The labeling includes the order number, the product size and specifications, date of manufacture, and use by date. Each Reliant Multi-Stage Balloon Catheter is packaged in a plastic peel pouch. Open the pouch and carefully remove the device from the packaging and uncoil. Prior to use, ensure that the device is undamaged. Don't pre-inflate the balloon or test it before insertion. The device comes with a guide wire lock located at the guide wire lure point. To advance or retract the guide wire, place this in the lock off position. Before introduction to the endoscope, Ensure it is in the lock on position. If desired, the O35 guide wire can be removed and the balloon catheter backloaded onto a suitable O35 guide wire. It is recommended that the guide wire port be flushed with saline prior to loading the catheter onto a guide wire. Use a balloon inflation device with a pressure monitor and 60 milliliter capacity. Prime the syringe per the manufacturer's instruction for use using sterile water, saline, or a contrast medium mixture. Attach the primed inflation device to the balloon catheter hub using the three-way stopcock provided. Apply a vacuum to the syringe to purge air from the balloon catheter. Use the three-way stopcock to expel air from the syringe Ensure the syringe remains filled to 35 milliliters before proceeding. Applying a vacuum prior to introducing the balloon catheter will assist in passage of the balloon into the endoscope channel. Remove the protective sleeve from the balloon. Opening or removal of the endoscope's biopsy valve may help facilitate easier passage of balloons larger than 12 millimeters. Caution. If excessive resistance is met during the procedure, confirm the cause of resistance and take remedial action before proceeding. Slowly advance the balloon catheter into the endoscope using short, deliberate movements. Ensure the balloon catheter is clearly visible in the endoscopic view before inflating the balloon. Once the balloon's position is confirmed, Inflate the balloon using the inflation device. Caution, do not use air or gas to inflate the balloon. The Reliant Multi-Stage Dilation Balloon Catheter can attain three distinct sizes at the associated inflation pressures. Adjust the pressure using the inflation device to attain the smallest size based on the pressure diameter tag label near the hub on the proximal end of the catheter. Larger diameters can be achieved with higher inflation pressures. Caution, the balloon may burst if excessive pressure is applied. Carefully observe the balloon pressure during dilation. It's normal to make minor adjustments to maintain the appropriate pressure. Warning, if the balloon bursts during the procedure, stop the procedure immediately and take remedial action. Do not withdraw the balloon through the endoscope. Carefully remove the burst balloon and endoscope together as a single unit. To remove the balloon, apply a negative pressure using the inflation device. Ensure that all liquid is withdrawn from the balloon before slowly removing the catheter from the endoscope. Depending upon the balloon size and chosen medium, this can take 10 to 30 seconds. Before removal of the balloon catheter, Reduce resistance by straightening the endoscope where possible. Caution, do not forcefully withdraw the balloon catheter from the endoscope. If significant resistance is encountered, removal of the endoscope along with the deflated balloon may be required to prevent damage to the endoscope. Remove the balloon catheter from the endoscope by cutting the proximal end of the balloon and removing the device from the distal end of the endoscope. Dispose of the device per biohazardous medical waste guidelines.